So here's a demonstration about mitosis using my children's socks. In this particular organism, there's two chromosomes. Chromosome 1 and chromosome 2. The process of mitosis is for the nucleus to be uh, replicated or ready for cell division. So I'm going to talk you through the process. The first process occurs in interphase and that is when the chromosomes replicate. So we have DNA replication. So we're kind of looking like this but they're all over the place and haphazard. In prophase that's when these chromosomes actually condense and end up looking like we know chromosomes do. So an interface they're actually just big long strands it's just like if I was to take one of these and pull it apart and so it's just all of the wool. So these are now in prophase they've all pulled together and condensed into the types of chromosomes we know. Also we have uh, centrioles that are forming here and the other thing is that the nuclear membrane has been dissolved. All ready for the next phase which is metaphase and in metaphase our chromosomes align themselves along the uh, equator of the cell and we have spindles that extend from the centrioles and attach to our chromatids. So they're kind of aligned more like this. So it's very important that our spindles actually attach to the chromatids like this and that's metaphase. So they're lined up along the equator otherwise known as the metaphase plate and we've got spindles extended out and holding on to or attaching to the chromatids. In anaphase, the spindles retract and our chromatids uh, are retracted off towards the poles like this. So this at the end of anaphase that looks like this. Then we have telophase where we have nuclear membranes reform or form again around the, uh, the DNA and straight after that we go into a process called cytokinesis where the cell membrane pinches here in the middle and it continues to pinch until we have got two daughter cells. Now the cool thing about using my daughter's um, socks to make daughter cells, ironic, but the cool thing is that I can actually use them as whiteboard erasers. Don't tell my children that. So we end up with two daughter cells, each containing a chromosome 1 and a chromosome 2. So now we've got two daughter cells. <laughs>